think that 100 was probably probably my favorite just because I I just haven't felt myself in that race in a while. You know, after Tokyo, I feel like I was kind of broken um, emotionally and physically. <laughs> um, but to be able to come back and do that and do that here, uh, that, that meant a lot. Any day you go 104 is a good day. So that I, I after this morning, I was pretty sure I had that in the tank, but I didn't know where that 104 was going to be. But 104.7 is is right where it was at Olympic trials, and um, I think that's a pretty good sign. Really switched it up from normal. Uh, you know, normally I'm out like a shot and trying trying to make it home, and um, just kind of wanted to go off the easy speed I had in the in the 200 and give something to try and, and kind of went a lot longer this morning and surprised myself with 105 and I said, oh, well that works, so let's do it again tonight. And um, yeah, that was good, I'm really happy with that. Especially the last year, but really the last two years, I just feel like I've been spinning out the first the first 50 and just dying so bad on the way home. And I know what I do in training does not reflect dying on the last 25, so I uh, just thought it was a, was a good chance to switch something up and uh, went for it and trusted my gut. Turned out pretty good. Still working on it, honestly. Just just racing and trying to race well and, and execute things, um, I guess, well. And, and for me, uh, when I start to doubt myself, like it's over. So um, just being very sure of myself and trusting the plan that sometimes Ray comes up with, sometimes I come up with. Uh, that's that's been pretty helpful. Days you're not feeling your best, everybody knows themselves. Um, it's hard not to in the sport, especially one where it's just like such a small margin that where you know you could be making a team and not. Um, I think those what ifs come in a lot, and when you're just kind of going and not thinking a lot, that, that tends to work out pretty well. I think now just realizing how lucky I am to, to be able to do that and be able to stay on top and um, be consistent, be injury free, um, just lucky lucky to be here and, and I've got a really great support staff behind me and my coaches and, and my medical staff back home, so um, that's a credit to them as well, you know. Um, but yeah, again, just being, being consistent in training is, has kept me here, so um, that's what I credit it to.